The Tampa Bay Air Fest returns to MacDill Air Force Base next month. The gates will open for the public to watch spectacular air shows for free. Tonight, Justin Shecker takes us for an exclusive ride with the Air Force ahead of Air Fest 2020. I'm on board a KC-135 that took off this morning from MacDill Air Force Base. We're flying north toward the Carolinas for an air refuel mission with a cargo aircraft based out of Charleston. As soon as they approach, I'm telling the pilots where they're at. Cade Stinson is calm and composed with his hand on the control stick. He's done this mission many times before. There's no real uh, thought that goes through my head of how I'm feeling. It's where is he? What am I doing? I'm trying to stay focused the whole time. Recently, he says he refueled aircraft almost daily during a three month deployment in the Middle East. Much, much hotter. Too hot uh, for comfort. Inside this pod, Stinson operates the boom. It's like a metal straw inside of another metal straw and put it into the top of the C 17. This is his view looking down at the massive C-17. The aircraft is large enough to fit three helicopters or airdrop 100 paratroopers. For more than 60 years, the U.S. Air Force has relied on the KC-135. The purpose of the plane is to be able to refuel other planes uh, mid-air. That way they don't have to land and get more gas. After the hour-long mission, it's time to return to Tampa Bay. Eight on your side, giving you an exclusive view inside the cockpit as the pilots touch down at McDill. And in just 30 days, the KC-135 will take part in one of several aerial demonstrations during the Air Fest. The Navy Blue Angels are this year's headliner. At McDill Air Force Base, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.